What's up, everybody? Afro Show here. Ten like a T.I.E. Uh, I know uh, this story came out a few days ago, and I didn't like one thing is I didn't do the say nothing about you. Everybody heard about Lee Thompson passing away a few days ago and from a suicide. It kind of threw me out to find out this kid. No, he's not a kid. He's 29. Uh, he's 29 years old, and he was supposed to be on the set of the show he was doing. And it was kind of sad to hear that he just turned 21 in February, and I feel kind of bad because he was on that show, the famous Jet Jackson, the famous Jet Jackson on Disney, and then he stayed hidden in the spot from the spotlight. And like I said, it made me feel bad that he is is gone now. That this guy that was on TV since he was a teenager and he passed away. And it might kind of makes you feel bad. It makes you wonder. It's like he passed away by suicide. That I've heard like some people I told you say he was depressed, and it makes you wonder. It's like he didn't leave a suicide note. He didn't tell the people why. But they said that that he was supposed to appear on the set of the show he was doing for TNT, and the people. The director was kind of worse, like, oh, he's not here. The producer or the director was like, oh, he's not showing up. He's supposed to be here on at work. He's wondering what's going on. He was running a little bit late or whatever. So they called up to his room to see what was going on. They found out he committed suicide. And it's, like I said, it's sad. They said it happened Monday morning. His manager said it was a great sadness that I announced that Lee Thompson Young tragic took his own life this morning. It says he was 29 years old, best known for the leading role on the TV, on the famous Jet Jackson TV show, started in 1998. More recently, he had been acting in TNT, TNT Rizza, Rizzolo, Rizzolo. And I that that showed with the two detectives, and he was mostly then just a brilliant actor. He was a wonderful and just a soul who will be truly missed. And they ask him please respect his privacy and his family and friends. It's a difficult time. Young body found in his home. Yeah, they found his body at 8 a.m. Monday morning in Los Angeles. And it makes you feel bad. It's coming from TNT, but uh, CNN, but it's sad to hear that this dude passed away like that. It said we was beyond heartbroken the loss of a sweet, gentle, good-hearted, intelligent man. He was truly a member of our family. Lee was age and removed by... No, he loved both on, off, on and off screen, and positive. And, and, and I feel kind of bad for the man because he was in so many shows. He he was on the show South Beach, and he had a recurring role on Flash Forward on Scrubs and Smallville. Yeah, he did it. And he was future credit in the Friday Night Lights, Aquila and the Bee, The Hills Have Eyes Too. And it's sad that this that this guy passed away like that at such a young age, man. This is like 29 years old. Found dead in his in his in his home. And it, and it made me feel, it made me feel bad about it. it. Made me feel bad about it when I found out. It's like back in the day, I used to watch that show because 
the show was great. The show, the famous Jet Jackson, lasted from 1998 to 2001, and and that's what probably started his career right there, where he played a played an actor that played he, he played a kid that played an actor that played the spy and I used to watch it a lot I used to watch all that, that show a lot and then <sighs> man just, like I said man just to see him die, go out like it man, makes you wonder so why makes you wonder why did he go out like it why did he commit suicide why did he take his own life And he has such such success that to take his own life was just a tragic. Like I was like, man, you was top of your game. But it's probably because he was probably depressed, he was upset about something, he didn't, wasn't himself. But like I said, man, it it really It was really, it really was a tragic to see him go out like it. Such a young actor that had the had everything. Not everything, but he had friends, family. Kept to himself, man. He really wasn't one of them celebrities that really wanted to show off like like other celebrities, but that that's sad to see that he just it was it was just sad. And he said he was uh he was born August now he was born February first to to uh, nineteen uh, I'm sorry, he was born August, uh, February 1st, 1984, and he died in 2013. And, uh, like I said, sad man to see him go out like that. But, uh, but I say like this, man, I feel bad for him. But, uh, I'm gonna say this, man. He shouldn't have died like that. But, uh, I feel bad for him, like I said, man. It feels bad that he ended his life like that, suicide. And, well, when you become famous, man, you do, depression do run rapidly through the, through the, through actors and certain other celebrities, but, he just didn't tell nobody what happened, so rest in peace, Lee Thompson Young.